Hey friends and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to get Commandos 2, the original non-remastered version, you know, the good version, working in widescreen modes. This has been requested by a few of you, sorry it's taken so long to get to, but it's here now. I feel obliged to say before we start that you should always use your own best judgement when you're downloading files from the internet. I'm not necessarily endorsing or guaranteeing anything, I'm just telling you what worked for me. Right, now with all that legalese out of the way, let's get started. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this handy website that I have got queued up already. This is the Commandos HD Project website. This is going to be linked in the description below everywhere I go to. It's going to be linked in the description. Come here, go to the Commandos 2 tab of this page, and he does have Commandos 1 and 3 in progress. I'm not sure if he's still going. He's, got, uh, he's had an update a few months ago, but... Commandos 2, at least for now, is finished. So uh, we come down, download it. It's quite a big file. I think it's like 600 odd megabytes. You can also get it in Italian, if you know, you're Italian, or want to play it in Italian. It would be harder if you don't speak Italian, but you could do it. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so we don't need to skip ahead to when we've got it. So what we'll have is this file in your downloads folder. And this is pretty simple. You open this and you get an extractor. It gives you all the files you need. I just extracted it to my desktop. C2HD is just a temporary folder. That's all I needed. And when it's done, you should have all this lovely stuff. Now, this is pretty much a manual installation sort of deal. You just go to your Commandos 2 folder. If you're not familiar, it's in Steam Apps Common in your Steam folder. And uh, you just drag and drop all this stuff into here and you're good to go. It should just work out the box. I made a shortcut for the launcher. The launcher lets you fiddle around with your resolution, enable and dis disable the reshade effects. Hunky dory, if that's all you want to do, you can uh, just do that and you should be able to play with no problems. Should be the operate word. I've actually heard from a few of you guys who said that you had some trouble, it didn't work as it should have. And uh, we're discussing if you guys have tried installing it into the legacy folder of Commandos 2, and that seemed to work. So, uh, don't know. For all I can tell, this legacy folder is the same. It's definitely the same game version as uh, in this root folder. So, maybe it's for older hardware. Maybe that's what it means by legacy. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully. One of those two folders should work. It's or three. Anyway. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you how to install is the Commandos 2 Destination Paris mod. Because I'm going to be LPing that fairly soon. Well, fairly. I've got on the plate at the moment, but I will be LPing it, and uh, no doubt some of you will probably be wondering how to install it. And it's really much the same process. Um, I've decided to put it in this video because I got this and the HD project installed at the same time, which is handy for switching between them. So uh, we're going to go back to this web, because I've got another tab, and this is the Commandos HQ, which is where I downloaded the uh, latest version of Destination Paris, and also the widescreen resolution mod below, which you're probably going to want, I know I did. The mod is an even bigger file, that's uh, like one and a half gigabytes, it's a big one. This makes Commandos 2 a lot harder, but it also includes re, uh, reimaginings, remakes of Commandos 1 and 3 in Commandos 2's engine, as well as having a lot of extra like fan-made maps. Really cool, and it overhauls a lot of gameplay and mechanics, so uh, if you're experienced with Commandos 2, I would say definitely give it a whirl. It's a load of fun, even if it is like Dark Souls levels of difficulty. Anyway, I've also downloaded that earlier, and you get this file, which is an installer, which is actually slightly easier than, uh, than the HD project. So we install it, create desktop shortcut, nice touch, and this will automatically find your Steam folder, and it automatically points to the legacy folder, which is quite nice, which means no faffing around on installation, unless obviously you have to install the HD project there. So uh, you let that installer do its thing, it takes a little while, 
but it's got a lot of stuff to do. And once you've done that, we're not quite finished. So we'll have your legacy folder looking like this. Handle 8 makes a backup of Commandos 2 x but uh, this will not be in widescreen. That's the downside of this mod. So from the same page, as I said, we can get the widescreen resolution mod, which is quite simple. It's a little program which patches the game using magic, and you get these three files which you'll want to move into your legacy folder. Once that's done, we open up Unis W or Un 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 I W S. I don't know how you pronounce that. Doesn't matter. It brings up the Universal Widescreen Patcher by Walk. So thank you, Walk. Uh, navigates to your legacy folder. You'll have to do this. And then uh, all we have to do is put in the resolution you want in these boxes here. Now, I did try this at 1920 by 1080. I had some pretty severe graphical glitching. I kind of hoped that was a problem with the earlier version of Destination Paris, because that's the last time I did this, but I have tried it with 1.45 and it doesn't sync. So unfortunately, we're having to go, well, you might be able to go above this. I haven't really fully experimented, but I found that 1280 by 720 worked just fine. Gives you plenty of screen real estate to work with. So that's what I would recommend. Hit patch, and that'll do all the work for you. The thing you have to remember is, once you're in game, you need to change your resolution to 800 by 600. 640 by 480 will not work. 1024 by 768 will work. 800 by 600 does. I don't know why, it's, it just does. I'm just accepting it. It might be to do with how it uh, edits the resolution. I mean, I mean it probably is. That's basically, it probably edits 800 by 600 to be bigger. But, uh, don't know. That's beyond my pay grade. Another slight downside with the uh, Destination Paris mod is that the cutscenes and the menu and everything are all in their original resolutions. I think it might be possible to get the HD projects, videos, and the briefings and all that to work with Destination Paris. I just don't know how. I tried copying the briefing folder and replacing some files, but it didn't work. It just uh, gave me some weirdness. So maybe someone more clever than me can figure it out, but honestly, if you're playing Destination Paris, I've got to assume that you're a veteran of Commandos 2 and you know what's going on. And frankly, it's just a little thing. Once you get into the game, it's fine. It works. So, once you've got yourself patched up, Destination Paris installed, the HD project installed, and all that good stuff, you should be able to play both versions of this fantastic game, 2001, in modern widescreen resolutions without having to pay a penny for the remaster, which let's not discuss it here. <laughs> I know what I think, you guys will know what you think, and uh, I think we all think the same thing. I hope this has been useful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have done this and are playing either one of these right now. If you've not played Destination Paris, as I said, great mod. And if you just want to do the vanilla experience with slightly higher screen resolution, in fact, if you just want to play the game at all, play it with the HD mod. Give that guy some luck, because the HD project is absolutely astonishingly good. If you guys are interested in Commandos 2, I do have a hard difficulty playthrough using the HD project. And if you keep an eye on the channel, I will soon be doing Destination Paris again on hard. And boy, will it be hard. See you then.